MAGA world has turned against someone who used to be Donald Trump's top mouthpiece, Sean Hannity. And it's because Sean Hannity has been forced to admit that the 2020 election has not been stolen. Now, why do I say he was forced to admit that? Well, he's getting sued for perpetuating lies about the 2020 election through his coverage. As you guys might know, he's facing a defamation lawsuit by Dominion Voting Systems. And since he has been deposed, he has admitted, quote, in regard to the uh, widespread law uh, election fraud that uh, led to Biden stealing the election from Trump. He says, I did not believe it for a second. Now with uh, honesty comes uh, some consequences in MAGA world because now the likes of Lynn Wood, Trump's lawyer or former lawyer and uh, Mike Lindell, they don't like it, they don't like the truth. And they have some pretty vicious things to say about Sean Hannity as a result. For example, here's what the My Pillow guy, Mike Lindell, had to say, quote, Sean Hannity is disgusting. He's a terrible journalist that does not do his job or his diligence on election crime. He doesn't seem to have any concern over any election problems in the country and it's disgusting. Now, there's a possibility that maybe Mike Lindell hasn't considered, and that possibility is that there wasn't uh, any election fraud and that the election wasn't stolen from Donald Trump. But I do agree that Sean Hannity is disgusting. So there's some agreement there. I mean, yeah. Silver lining. So, yeah, this is super bad news for Trump because, look, when you want to break up with someone, I hate to say it, but this happens all the time. And it's happened to us at different times in our lives by us, I don't know. But you'll find an excuse as to why they grieved you to make the break easier, okay? So in the case of Fox News, the word has come down from Murdoch very, very clearly. The owner of the station and the network, we're done with Trump. Now, that makes it very inconvenient for Sean Hannity, who's you know been bosom buddies with Donald Trump, nestled his Lego block head in the bosom of Donald Trump for these last six, seven years. So he needs an excuse. But now the Trump world attacking Hannity for this gets to have Hannity go, oh, you know what? I was trying to do the best I could, but I guess these people can't be helped. I'm going to DeSantis. And so Wait for that next turn to come. But the once you get to this level of insanity, everyone gets attacked. It doesn't matter how close you are to Trump. It doesn't matter how much you help Trump. Just ask Jeff Sessions, Bill Barr, everyone that he has ever betrayed. So will he betray Hannity because of one thing that he said during the depositions? Of course, of course. And so will all of his lunatic acolytes. But when they do, The joke's not on Hannity, the joke's on Trump, because then Trump is going to get characterized as the loony right going forward. And Fox News and everybody else is gonna turn to DeSantis and other establishment Republicans. And we might finally have the end of the era of Trump. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm I'm curious to see how this plays out for Hannity, but really the person in the position of power here, the one who has the odds in his favor is Sean Hannity. I mean, Donald Trump has become a laughing stock. People are turning on on him. And honestly, what mattered to me the most was to see where the electorate stood on Donald Trump. Because it's one thing to see the Republican establishment start to kind of turn its back on Trump. But it's something entirely different when the base still supports him. But multiple polls now have indicated that they don't want him to run or they prefer DeSantis over Trump. Things are not looking good for him and Sean Hannity still has his platform and Donald Trump doesn't really have as much power to to do anything to hurt him in that regard. But the other thing that I love about this story is chickens have come home to roost, right? So Sean Hannity created this monster. I remember learning about the text messages and the communication Hannity had with members of Trump's administration during the January 6th riots where he wanted Trump to intervene and make it stop. So like that should have been the moment where he realized, "Oh, I screwed up. I enabled and empowered this monster who has absolutely no respect for our constitution, no respect for our electoral process, 
and is obsessed with power. And the other thing that I'm just so fascinated with Trump on is how he seems to really be oblivious to the fact that people don't actually like him. People use him if they think that he might be beneficial for their political careers, for their media careers, and what have you. But once Trump is no longer useful to them, once Trump is actually counterproductive for their careers or their quest for power, yeah, they're gonna turn their backs on him immediately. That's that's the way it works. There's no honor among thieves. 100%. Let me give you the most relevant number in this entire story, 40 million. That's how much Hannity makes per year, Jesus. makes $40 million. So when your boss who gives you $40 million a year tells you to do something, you're gonna do it. And the boss is not Donald Trump, the boss is Rupert Murdoch. So uh, that's why all of a sudden Sean Hannity in a deposition says, I never believed any of these election lies for a second. And by the way, it goes to show you something we talked about a little bit earlier in the show, whether it's Kaylee McEnany or any of the other people close to Donald Trump, none of them ever believed it for a second. Mm -mm. They didn't believe the election lies, they didn't believe the COVID lies, they don't believe any of that stuff. They just think it's a good way to make money. They think their audience are suckers and they'll believe anything. But when they're on a witness stand and they could be in legal trouble for lying, all of a sudden they're like, yeah, of course. You think we believe anything we say on air? No, our viewers are rubes that we take advantage of. Right. And before Trump helped us to take advantage of them. And now we think he's become useless and and is not as helpful to our cause. So we're gonna switch over to someone else like DeSantis. You know, one characteristic that I find like super gross, and I see it all over the place in every industry, is when people don't have the backbone to state what they really think and defend what they really think. And in this case, Sean Hannity is just one of the most spineless individuals because he told Lynn Wood exactly what Lynn Wood wanted to hear. Okay, so Lynn Wood is getting in on the action of, of slapping down Sean Hannity. And so uh, he said this, uh, according to Wood on November 6th of 2020, he sent Hannity a text message of a clip of Wood speaking at the RNC headquarters. Quote, they stole it, Hannity wrote, according to Wood's screenshotted text messages, and they will get away with it and our country will be destroyed. This obviously contradicts it, Wood said of Hannity's recent testimony in the $1.6 billion Dominion lawsuit. So Wood's point here is, look at, look at the screenshot of my text message exchange with Sean Hannity. He admitted to me that he believes the election was stolen. But Lynn, of course he's telling you that. He's telling you exactly what you wanna hear. Okay, like they're so dumb. It's amazing to me that these are people who have like advanced degrees. Like Lynn Wood literally has a law degree and and passed the bar. I don't even know how that's possible. Yeah, it's crazy. Look, uh, guys, it's not just uh, Lynn Wood and uh, and the pillow dude. Uh, by now, people know that that's the outer fringe. Still a big chunk of the country, but the outer fringe. Uh, but it's people very close to Trump, like Bannon, and maybe Trump himself. Uh, that are turning on Hannity. So let me read graphic five here. Bannon wrote that Hannity should face accountability for terrible advice, and he cap, capitalized terrible, to Trump. Uh, and while Posobiec, I think that's how you pronounce it, he's one of the alt right guys, has taken a series of jabs at the Fox News host, including posting a picture of Hannity alongside CNN host Don Lemon and Michael Avenatti. Wow. Now you want to talk about uh, shots fired when they compare you to Don Lemon. Uh, shots are definitely fine. And those guys are way more influential on the right wing than Lindell or, or Lynn Wood is. So now the right wing is really tearing each other apart. It's the core Trump team versus everybody else. How about Trump graphic seven? In terms of direct contact with Sean, the source says, I think it's been a while uh, since Trump talked to him. Uh, and so this is they used to talk all the time. That shows you uh, the big boss or the guy who used to be the big boss, El Jefe is agreed with Sean Hannity, and so they're on the outs. Oh, by the way, there's one other reason why Trump's agreed with him. That leads us to graphic eight, which I find to be hilarious. Hannity gets the blame for us because it's more convenient than blaming Melania, and now he's been shown to be disloyal under oath. So it's Hannity's turn to get tossed overboard, a Trump source says. Well, 
tossing Fox News hosts overboard is the bridge too far. Then, then, then you really run out of anyone left that can support you in a meaningful way. And then, you know who made the decision to support Dr. Oz? Donald J. Trump. What a loser that he's having an internal debate on whether you should blame Hannity or his wife. His it's wife wasn't is. even political. No, no, this that's exactly who he is though. Refuses to ever take any personal responsibility for anyone or anything and looks for scapegoats, looks for excuses, looks for others to blame like a little bitch. Can't believe that guy was the president of the United States. Unbelievable. All right. 100%. And okay. you know, by the way, super last thing, they might lose Tucker too and then they're totally toast. Last graphic, Tucker Carlson is an openly hostile to Trump, but anyone who's paying attention knows he's not a fan either. Trump is never on the show and rarely gets discussed. Tucker thinks Trump has a lot of the right enemies, but that's about it. So inside Trump world, they're now worried they might lose Hannity and Tucker Carlson. And that's not a good place to be if you want to win a right wing primary. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.